What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are packing for Disney again and this trip is going to look a little bit different. It's just going to be me and my husband Andy. So typically we travel with our three-year-old daughter and it's normally a very toddler focused trip. I mean obviously, <laughs> but this trip is clearly going to look very different because we're going to focus on more adult things that we don't normally get to to enjoy when we're traveling with our three-year-old. So of course, packing looks a little bit different as well. I feel like I'm already forgetting something. <laughs> Let's just jump into all of the packing. And before we get started, if you are new, my name is Becca. I share all kinds of Disney planning content and lots of packing videos just like this one, as well as tips for taking a toddler to Disney and vlogs from all of our Disney adventures along the way. So if that sounds like your thing, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. All right, this is what we're working with. This feels so weird because normally I have every square inch of this bed <laughs> filled when I'm packing with my three-year-old. So this just feels very strange for me. But jumping right into it, this is gonna be my pool bag. So when we get to our resort, our plan is we're gonna get there pretty early and I'm gonna go ahead and have this bag ready so that we can change into our swimsuit. So I have a swim cover up, some sunscreen, my swimsuit, sunglasses, and SPF chapstick. And then this is gonna be my little beach bag, beach tote with all of my poolside, I say beach tote, I don't know, poolside essentials. <laughs> so, that is the first thing that I'm packing. And again, it feels so weird. Normally I have all these little pool toys and tiny flip flops and swimsuits, but it's pretty simple this go around. And then another thing that looks very different is the type of outfits that I'm packing. So I'm bringing a few different nicer dresses and rompers and little skirts and just things that I don't normally pack with me because we're gonna be doing a couple of nicer dinners while we're there and we may wanna hang out at some of the lounges and things like that and maybe not spend as much time in the parks or do as many rides as we normally do. And then same thing with tops. I have a couple of little blouses and just other tank tops and things. Lots of stuff that I can mix and match and do a couple of outfit changes throughout the day. And my tried and true athletic dress. If you have been around my channel for any length of time, you know my love for these athletic dresses. So it has built-in padding and then built-in shorts under here. And okay, I always get so many questions. This might be TMI, but I'm going to share because we're Disney besties and that's just what you do. So the question is, do you take the dress all the way off <laughs> to go to the bathroom? And my trick is the shorts are stretchy and short enough that I can normally do the one piece swimsuit pull to the side strategy <laughs> without taking this off completely. That is what I normally do with the athletic dress and it works great. <laughs> so now you know what I do. And then lots of other little athletic tanks some athletic shorts, and I have another pair of athletic shorts in the dryer right now that I'm gonna throw in, and then some denim shorts. And I have to talk about these because these are gonna be my new favorite shorts. These are from Abercrombie, and these are the long mom short version of their classic denim shorts. So they're four inches long, and it has more than enough booty coverage and then a really great length in the front. So definitely check these shorts out if you are looking for some cute denim shorts, but everything out there is just so short. <laughs> these, these are amazing, perfect length. Really excited about these. I would love to go back and get a couple of other washes. They do sell out pretty quick, so I have my notifications on. They're gonna send me an email when they're back in stock. Can't rave about these enough. And then some loungy pajama type clothes for back in the room, another swimsuit. I have my undergarments in here, socks. And then I also left these socks out so I could show you how stinking cute. So it comes in a pack of, I think six. So you have Donald, Daisy, Stitch, and it's either Pluto or Goofy is the other character, but 
so so cute so i'm just gonna bring minnie and mickey but so adorable i got these on amazon so stinking cute and then moving over to this pouch i have my little mickey hat and then all of my stony clover fanny packs are in here so this is just a great little storage pouch for all of my park accessories and then of course my rain jacket you guys it's supposed to rain the whole time we're there so i'm coming prepared i've got my umbrella my rain jacket we're not gonna let it ruin our time, but we are coming prepared for the rain. And then this is my travel day fanny pack. So this is the jumbo size from Stony Clover. This is my little keychain wallet, this super cute little Nashville patch with all the little rhinestones, so cute. But I love the jumbo size, especially because we won't have a diaper bag with us or a stroller or any additional storage for anything. So I'm definitely gonna want a little extra space i'm still bringing my classic size fanny pack but i really like the jumbo because it can fit a mini pouch and i'll show you what i have in the mini okay this was just way easier <laughs> to show you the mini pouch and this is what i typically bring with me to the parks only if i have my jumbo fanny pack if i have the classic size then the mini pouch does not fit but especially for travel day this is perfect so i have magic bands and i guess i need to leave my daughters at home but anyway magic bands and then some hand sanitizer spray i have a couple of lip products so lip gloss chapstick my airpods and some Tylenol. And then our annual pass holder little slides. So aren't these so cute? And I know I'm gonna get questions about where we got these. So the first time that we were annual pass holders back in 2019, they gave these out for free with the pass. I don't know if they're still doing that. I haven't seen anyone get these recently, but I'm glad we hung on to them because now that we're pass holders again, we can use these. But that is everything that's in my little mini pouch. So all of my little travel day essentials and really, I mean, park day essentials too, just anything that you would need. The little mini pouch is the perfect size for that. Okay, and then back to it. The other thing I have in here is my portable charger. I have tried several portable chargers and this one is by far the best. I need to recharge this before we leave. But the reason I love this is because you have the charging cable. Well, it's not a cable, it's just a plug on the back built in so you don't need any additional cables or anything to go with this. And then it has all different attachments built in to the portable charger. So amazing that I can charge my daughter's tablet, I can charge my phone or our little portable fan all at the same time, depending on, you know, if it makes sense with <laughs> what's available. But I love this portable charger. So that goes with me on travel day. And then same thing with my little wallet. So that's what's in my jumbo fanny pack. And then I can also put our airline tickets or you know anything else that I pick up along the way, you know, on travel day snacks or a little granola bar, a bottle of water fits in this. Really, really nice. And then in this pouch, I just have a bunch of charging cables, my laptop charger, phone charger, camera charger, <laughs> just all the things, our little mini fan. So it is gonna be a scorcher while we're there, mixed in with the rain and Y'all, it is gonna be, it's gonna be hot and humid. So got our little miniature fan there. And then moving around, this is where I'll put all of my makeup brushes in this. And this kind of doubles as a makeup brush stand. So when you fold it down, it stands up. So you have this little built-in makeup brush, like cup almost. And then it has all the little, um, uh, what are these called? Little elastic holders for your brushes. So anyway, really nifty, found it on Amazon. Really, really cool. And then this has my makeup in this. I used to travel with, and I still do sometimes, but my large hard shell travel makeup case, and it just got to be a lot. It took up a lot of space. 
and I just don't need that much makeup. So that is why I have scaled down to the Stony Clover small pouch. I love the clear front version because I can see what I'm reaching for. So I might actually show you what is inside of this here in just a minute because I usually skip over what's in my makeup bag. So I might actually share what makeup I pack and what is in my toiletry bag as well. So this is our first aid kit. I just have this restocked for every trip. And I think I got a couple questions like what's actually inside of this. Honestly, a little bit of everything. I need to take out the children's Tylenol, but ibuprofen, Advil, Benadryl, Band-Aids, cough drops. Uh, I don't know what else. Uh, Neosporin. Um, like allergy relief. I mean, just honestly everything. <laughs> and then this is our liquid IV. And okay, you guys, the goodies powder. I talked about this on my last Disney trip in our last packing video, and I was excited to try it out. It works. I combined the goodies headache powder with the liquid IV in a 16 ounce water bottle and just chugged it. <laughs> and no kidding in 15 minutes my headache was gone so i don't know what kind of magic is in this goodies headache powder but it worked and i am hooked so if you are prone to headaches like i am if you have a hard time staying on top of staying hydrated while you're at disney which results in a headache definitely give this combo a try this has worked out great so this will be coming with me anytime we travel to disney from now on my laptop because i usually at the end of the day i like to transfer over vlog footage so it just stays nice and organized throughout our trip and then my toiletry bag and this is another thing i normally skip over this because i never have it packed <laughs> but this time i actually have it packed so i'm actually going to show you what i love about this toiletry bag so the first thing is that you can actually hang it so it's you know it has the hook so i can hang it on the back of the door on a towel hook you know whatever um and then it has a ton of room in here so lots of storage lots of different zipper compartments i'm able to kind of bring everything with me without having to narrow down you know what toiletry items do i want to bring now i do make sure to pack travel sized products so i'm rarely bringing full size products with me but i'll just buy these from you know the dollar section or the little travel section at target and then i can put my own shampoo and conditioner in that and then same thing with my favorite skincare i'll just buy the travel size of the specific moisturizer that i like and then i'll hang on to this little tiny bottle and i'll just refill it with the full size product at home that way i have the travel size of it whenever we go out of town really really love doing that that's the toiletry bag and then it folds back up i mean into nothing so <laughs> i really really love this it really holds a ton and I've gotten so much use out of this. Okay, I do wanna share a few of my all-time favorite makeup products for Disney, just things that I pack for every single trip. So I won't go through everything in this bag, but I'll show you a few things that are sweat proof and they last through the heat and the rain and the humidity and you know, all the things. Okay, the first is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. And this is probably oh gosh, maybe the sixth or seventh bottle of this that I have gone through. This is one of those, when you find a foundation that works for you, you just repurchase it over and over and over, and that's what this is. It's medium to full coverage, but it still feels so light on your skin. I can't even explain it. Just, you only need the tiniest amount, and it's like, boom, flawless foundation. <laughs> Like, I don't know what is in this, but it is pure magic. I love it. I would say it's more of a matte finish, which is probably why it works so well in the Florida heat. So this is always my go-to when I want something a little more than just a tinted moisturizer, which is usually my go-to. 
this is the product that I always reach for. So love this. And then I just mentioned the tinted moisturizer. So the one I'm loving right now, and this one has actually come with me on a few Disney trips at this point. It's the Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen. It's SPF 30. And I really, really like this because it's a little more coverage than other tinted moisturizers. So I would say it's light to medium coverage, which is why I like it, that I can still feel like I have more coverage like an actual makeup look going into the parks but then it's still really lightweight it still looks like your skin and then of course it has the spf in it oh and i should have mentioned too the bare minerals bare pro foundation is spf 20. so another reason i love that one but back to the tower 28. <laughs> this is what i wear by the pool i'll wear this to the parks i mean this is just that staple tinted sunscreen that I always feel really confident wearing this one. So highly recommend. Okay, I'll speed this up a little bit, but I also love the Isla, what is this called exactly? True Skin Serum Concealer, a really lightweight concealer that's really good for Disney. And then I know a ton of people talk about this, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And again, another product, it just sets everything, locks everything in. It's really pricey, but when you're able to splurge on, you know, just a couple of staple items in your makeup collection, it can make all the difference, especially at Disney. And then another one is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush, and I'll use a brush to kind of blend this in, but this is another one. It doesn't melt off your skin. You're not layering more powder on. It just sits really nicely on the skin. Okay, and then another one is the Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray. I got the travel size of this because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, and it doesn't have the best like spray spritzer. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like. I don't know, it just kind of goes everywhere. It's not my favorite, but it works. It's very similar to the Urban Decay setting spray, the, you know, the all-nighter one. Um, this is really similar and it does the same thing. I wish the little spritzer on the bottle was better and maybe I got a dud, I don't know, but really love this. I think that's pretty much everything that would be Disney specific. Everything else is like lipstick, mascara, eyeshadow, just stuff that, you know, you would wear every day at home. And, you know, it doesn't really matter whether you're at Disney or wherever. But the ones that I did mention, um, like the Bare Pro Foundation from uh, Bare Minerals, uh, the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder, um, the setting spray with Laura Mercier, like all of those items are actually really, really good. But anyway, those are some of my favorite items in my makeup bag. So let's keep this going. Another thing that's looking different on this trip is the shoes that I'm bringing. <laughs> Typically, I just bring tennis shoes and maybe my pool flip-flops and that's it. But because we're planning on doing a couple of fancier little date nights, I'm like, you know what? I've got the room. Just bring the nice sandals, Becca. So I've got my park day tennis shoes. I'll probably wear these on travel day as well. And my other thought is because it's supposed to be raining, in case these get soaked, I have other shoe options. Obviously not these, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Other little flip-flops that I could wear to the parks, you know, for a couple of hours. But these I thought would be really cute for a night out. These are just my casual, you know, everyday flip-flops that I just reach for with any outfit. Another pair of nicer sandals, kind of dressier if I want to I don't know, just look a little fancy, you know? And then some other little nice sandals because I couldn't decide, you know, which ones. And I thought, why not bring both? <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. I don't know why this feels so weird. I haven't packed without my three-year-old <laughs> in so long. It just feels like there's no way that I have everything. But I'm gonna go ahead and pack it all up. And I've got my packing cubes ready to go. <laughs>
I'm actually shocked. I thought I was gonna have to ditch a pair of shoes for a second, but I did it, we're good, I'm all packed. So thanks for hanging out with me and I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to catch all of the videos from this trip coming very soon. And so that we can just be internet besties, of course. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy packing vlogs. And I think that's it for today. So thank you guys so much and I will catch you in my next one, bye.